Thank you for tuning in to The Philip Scott Show. My name is Danielle DeVita and I am a proud contributor. I speak about all things marriage, relationship, self-love, and femininity. So today I have a post that came up on Quora. So go ahead and take a look at this. My boyfriend told me he's less attracted to me since I've gained weight. Should I lose weight or him? And the response to this was from Maya and she says, all of the answers are correct in their own way, but I'm just going to say initially what I thought when I read this question, girl effing drop him. He doesn't deserve you. You're concerned about how he perceives you. I highly doubt he's worried about the same thing. You do whatever the F you want. The only person you should lose weight for is yourself. Only change the way you look if you want to. You are drop dead gorgeous in every way. Every roll, sag, and stretch mark is what makes you beautiful. Do whatever makes you feel stunning. If that's losing weight, so be it. But do it because you want to, not because it makes you more sexually appealing to your needy Jack A boyfriend. You're beautiful and you're dazzling. You're brilliant in every, in, and you are brilliant. You are everything. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise. And I don't see that there's a picture here, so I don't know how she knows that she's beautiful, but hey. So if you want to take this person's advice, then you can. And keep in mind that you will be single because the number one reason um, for being in a relationship, part of um, that is the attraction, okay? All the other things, you can have communication, this person can be great, great personality, but if you're not attracted to them, how are you going to get from date number one to something more serious because if you want the wham bam thank you ma'am then hey as long as you look good enough then it doesn't matter but for most men i i'd like to say all men but for most men attraction needs to be there and for women Yes, women can be with someone who's not attractive because for women, it's a little bit different. We need emotional and financial security and all of these hypergamy and all of that kind of stuff. But I'm not going to go into that. But for there to be chemistry, you do need to be attractive. Even as, as a woman, you do want to have some attraction to this guy. So I think she should be happy that the guy told her because a lot of guys sometimes don't know how to tell um, the woman that they are no longer attracted to them. So if he is telling you, of course, with tact, I think men need to learn to have tact when they're dealing with women. If you know women, there's a certain way you have to convey things for a woman to listen the same way women have to um, convey things a certain way without nagging and being, you know, so much for a man to be able to hear and respond to it. So if he's telling you he's finding you less attractive, you need to do something about it. It begs the question, do you really like him if you don't even want to do what it takes to make yourself still be desired by him? Um, there's two reasons why you should want to lose weight. One, for your health. For your health. You want to be healthy. Like, why would you, you know, I understand the whole love yourself for, you know, where, for the skin that you're in. Love yourself during the uh, where you are at this point in life. But the goal is to always be healthy and be to your best ability. Okay, then the next thing is you want the person that you say you love, your boyfriend, your husband to find you desirable, which means self-care needs to come into play. Part of self-care is getting your body in a healthy and desirable state for your man. Um, it's hard sometimes for women because our emotions, and when I say emotions, I mean like hormonal um, things because we go through all these hormones, because we go through different changes in our life as we get older, because we have children, it's not always as easy to stay the exact same weight as before. Now, growing up, I never had problems with my weight. In fact, I was always underweight. I was the skinny one. I was skin and bones, right? <laughs> and after I had children, now I'm trying to keep go back, you know, get, lose a little weight. Well, now I did, I already lost the weight, but I understand if it's children, I get it. I mean, I have babies right now. Um, you know, I have a one-year-old, she's going on two. I have a, 
um, a three-year-old. Um, I have a seven-year-old, so I have little ones and I've been pregnant in between that time as well. So I understand what it's like to have issues going on with your weight. The problem is not the fact that you've necessarily gained weight. It's why are you deciding to drop him rather than do things to make him happy? Because shouldn't that make you happy that he's happy that every time he sees you and that he has the ability to communicate how he feels because sometimes guys won't tell you and you know, it shows up in other um, ways, which means they go find someone else who they find more desirable or they completely shut down from wanting to be desired by you. And then it becomes an issue of you guys are not being intimate. Now, of course, you know, I don't really talk about intimacy when it, when it's dating opposed to when it's marriage. I am not approved. <laughs> I promise you, I am not a prude. I just think that we live in a society where a lot of women are just opening their body and there's no clarity and women don't know how to vet. So when you get to that point that you know how to vet and you know these things, then you can be more apt to understand or know when to give a piece of yourself to someone who's deserving. So that's why I promote this. Um, also, you know, other, you know, beliefs and things like that. But I truly, truly believe that if you are with someone and that you say you love them and you desire them, you should want to, uh, you know, keep yourself up. Um, I'm not saying you're always going to look your best the way you want. Like you may not always get to that desired um, weight that you want immediately. It takes time. It takes work, just like in everything that you do. But I do hope that you do become a woman who um, finds passion in making herself desirable for the man that she loves. So that is all I have for you. You guys tell me what you think. Um, I think it's an issue that a lot of women have, you know, I gained weight. He wants to leave again. Why are you letting yourself go? If you did, or if you are, at a point where you've gained weight and you're trying to figure out where to go, the question should not be, should I leave him? It should be, what can I do to get to where I need to be? But thank you for tuning in to The Philip Scott Show. My name is Danielle DeVita.